The leader of the Democratic Party of Moldova, Pavel Filip, announced their return to parliament on June 17. Despite their total control of the country since 2016, until very recently, the Democrats now find themselves in opposition to the government elected by the newly formed coalition headed by Akim's blocs, Maya Sandu. This follows a brief period of dual power in Moldova after the constitutional court previously controlled by the oligarch and democratic leader Vladimir Plahotniuk, who fled the country on June 14, installed an interim president, Pavel Filip, who was the acting prime minister of the previous government. These people appeared on the same day when the constitutional court of the country declared the new government illegitimate. In February, parliamentary elections were held in Moldova. For three months, the parties would not agree on a coalition, and on June 8th, the pro-Russian socialists and the pro-European bloc, Acum, did what the Moldovan thought impossible and created a coalition, with the sole aim to clear the country of the main oligarch. The fact of the matter is that the people have had so much of this person that even such parties that are opposite in ideology and geopolitical position view the country's development differently. They're united. Why now? Because it came to light that no one in Moldova believes that there is law. There is only Plachotnuk's desire, his orders, his instructions. But at the moment, our number one problem is corruption. It is so big that it has really become a danger to democracy for the country as a whole. People massively leave for other countries. Not because they hate this country, just because they have to survive. After the Socialists and Acum signed an agreement about temporary cooperation, the Democratic Party, led by the oligarch Plachotnuk, against whom the MPs united, went to the Constitutional Court. The very same day, this court ruled the coalition and new government illegitimate because it was formed too late. The deadlines allegedly expired on June 7th, according to the court. After President Dodon refused to use his right to dissolve the parliament, the court suspended him too. The people who pitched tents by the state buildings quote this court decision. In less than a work week, parliamentarians passed a law abolishing the mixed electoral system, formed commissions and appointed a delegation to PACE. When we tried to speak to people in Moldova, they were mostly reluctant to share their thoughts, although few did agree. I want the best for my country, but everyone interprets this best in their own way. I do not want to make any statements. For me, it is better that there is stability, no corruption, that's the most important thing. We just want decent salaries and people living with dignity. Hardly anything could help this country, because in the last 50 years, the state has taken care of itself more than of the people. The people are so fed up with this situation and this mess in Moldova. The collapse of state institutions, dysfunctional state authority, pervasive corruption, concentration of financial flows among a few people. People need a breather. People want to live and make money. People want an open economic system, which would give them the chance to develop economically. In a way, you could view the events in Chisinau as a revolution of dignity. In Moldova, something happened that nobody would have expected. Two parties with completely different visions united. They rejected their geopolitical differences in order to get rid of the influence of one oligarch. Now, people have little hope for change. However, they had almost no hope of this coalition either. Moldova shows that the impossible is possible. <laughs>